What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. I am a little bit under the weather, so I apologize for my voice, but the uh, videos have to continue as you guys well know. Today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite apps from Samsung's Good Lock Suite that I haven't talked about very much. There's a lot of features in it, and uh, I think one that a lot of you will find very interesting is the Sound Assistant app. I'm gonna show you guys today how you can change the increments which you adjust your volume on your Samsung Galaxy device. Something that should help you with controlling your music and make it a little easier to listen to on your phone. Before we get into it, I want to mention a couple of cool things. First of all, people have been asking me about this case, which I've had in the last few videos. This is nothing special. This is the Samsung official clear kickstand case. So I'll drop a link below, but this isn't a third-party case. It's the official Samsung one. Uh, my friend 1.4 Studio just dropped his latest icon packs. This is the Aries Light Icon Pack, which I absolutely love. People are always asking about the Icon Pack, so I'll drop a link below to that. And another reminder, if you guys are ordering your Galaxy S23 or S23 Ultra coming up in February, we're only a couple months away, I am doing my mystery boxes where you get a free case, a free desktop phone stand, like this one right here for my friends at Lamacall, travel stand that folds up, cleaning kit, and some other goodies like Amazon gift cards will be inserted. Uh, I cover the shipping. All you got to do is sign up provide proof of purchase when we get closer in February, and uh, they'll ship out 100% free. So check out the link below if you're going to be ordering with the Galaxy S23 launch. Uh, that being said, let's get into today's video. Let's talk about the GoodLock app Sound Assistant. So if you're not using GoodLock, you should be. It's Samsung's customizable suite of apps. There's basically two different categories. There's the makeup category, which is where you can customize the look of your device. And then there's the life up category where you can customize the usability of your device. Uh, GoodLock just rolled out to a bunch of other countries recently, uh, just like a couple weeks ago. It expanded to 12 additional markets, and Samsung said they're continuing to expand it. So if you don't have it in your country yet, it could be soon, but you can also use a VPN to get this, and I did make a video on how to get GoodLock with a VPN. So let's take a look inside Sound Assistant. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here, but I want to uh, touch on one feature in particular, and then I'll show you guys a couple other cool things. The one I want to focus on here is the change step volume feature. Now, by default on your Galaxy device, the volume slider is set to go up or down in increments of 10 when you press the volume button. You can see here it goes up or down in increments of 10. So sometimes people don't like that because obviously you could be the case that maybe you just don't want it to go that far because that's a big chunk. There could be a difference, big difference between 90% and 100% volume. So what you can do is you can change that here. I like to change mine to go in increments of 5. You can see it shows you down there at the bottom. So that then when you press the volume up or down key here, you can see it shows you the levels right there. It's going to go up in increments of 5. I find that that's just a little more palatable for me personally when I'm listening to music it kind of goes up or down in the direction that I would like. You can change it all the way down to one, and uh, the Samsung volume slider goes basically from one to 150. So there's 150 different levels of volume. And the reason I think it goes to 150, by the way, some people have asked that before too, is I think 100 is like the maximum recommended volume that Samsung says you should listen to it on. So anything over that is basically an unsafe volume for listening. So if you listen to it over that, you're basically risking damaging your eardrums. I'm certainly guilty of listening to mine over 100 sometimes as well, depending on what I'm doing, like at a workout or something. So you can change that how you like. The other thing you can do is you can completely change your volume panel up here. Customize the volume panel. Down here, you can change not only the standard panel, which is the one you get when you press the volume keys, but you can also just the expanded panel which is what you get when you type, tap the button up there. So there's a couple of things you can do. First of all, you can change the position. You can see it's usually in the middle. I slide mine down to the bottom so that when the volume bar opens, I can slide up or down for individual adjustment because of course, even though this can be adjusted to go in increments of five, sometimes I might wanna go in increments of one. And if you slide with your fingers, then you can do that. You can also choose to show the volume level or not. So it will, either show you the number with the volume is that set to or not. I personally like that quite a bit. Um, and then you can also choose the layout right or left. So if you want it on the bottom left, if you're left-handed, you can move it over there. 
The last thing you can do is kind of cool is the floating button. If you want to be able to access the sound assistant menu all the time, you can actually tap on this floating button right here and then it will open up the sound assistant menu anytime you want. You don't have to hit the volume keys. Uh, I don't really keep that one on because I find the volume keys to be fine, but it is an option. Inside the expanded panel, uh, not only can you uh, turn on the toolbars, the app volumes, you can also turn on Bluetooth metronome for seeking your uh, video volume over Bluetooth, you know, like with the delay that you would see with someone talking, that can be kind of annoying. You can change that also inside here. So that can be down here, sync Bluetooth sound for videos. You can also adjust the settings on that as well. Lastly, this also integrates with Samsung's theme park application to make your own volume panel colors. So you can see up here, if you wanna have a separate volume panel color, separate of what you have for your wallpaper colors, like you maybe you don't want the same color as your quick settings, you can go in here and change this. They've got some preset themes. You can also customize this fully yourself. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different points of customization. You do need Samsung's theme park app, which is also part of GoodLock, because this does integrate with theme park. Now I chose one that I like that kind of matches my wallpaper, but isn't quite the same color as the rest of my um, you know, quick settings and other ensemble. Anyway, there's a lot of settings inside Sound Assistant. This is really just a couple of them. If you guys are interested in seeing some of these other settings, definitely let me know. I'll make some more videos on this down the road. I like to dive into all these apps really deeply so you guys can see what's going on. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, please check out the mystery boxes if you're ordering a Galaxy S23 Ultra. Love to do that for the community. Also check, check out our monthly giveaway, which we have going on right now. I'll link it below as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.